Hello, my friends. How goes it this evening? Welcome aboard. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? Happy Sunday. The weekend is coming to a, another close yet again. But um, yeah, we are rocking and rolling with Lou for some trainings. We got also have a meeting going on, and then we also have. Uh, some dispatching coming your way this evening, so we're going to be uh, rocking and rolling with that. First off, we're going to get right back on over to the uh, pod call. Look, I was <laughs> what I was going to say. Hey, what the fuck? We have a crossbow now? Yeah. Uh, Somebody has a department issue crossbow. What? Uh, okay. Oh, Smith, yeah. I'm sorry, little one. Uh, let me get my car. All right, whereabouts are we at? Oh my goodness, what the f Why is it automatic? Who the fuck invented this? We got automatic fucking... What's it called now? The hell? Hey, cut it out now. Romanov. Ring around the rosy, ashes fall above Let me put the ad ashes, out. Ashes, we all fall down. All right, so we're at um, 60-24 this evening. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pam, if I fucking yeet Romanov out of the server, will you give me Officer 3? <laughs> <laughs> so, Romanov, just go find somewhere on campus, barricade up, uh, but smoke's going to go first. Smoke's gonna go first. So I mean, if if you want to wait, I don't know what building he's gonna use. Yeah, I want to wait then. I okay. just I just planned on going. Might. I mean, if you want me to do action shooter, I'll just go straight up the center of the university and kid. I won't. I won't go into the building, or I'll enter the building, but I'll use all three on the university. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah I knew you were like, hood. Temptation is a hell of a drug. Yeah, you know, you're right. Nah, you're right. Nah, you're right. Temptation is a drug. Give me a shot, Hang on. Let me get my shit ready. I actually... Hey, turn towards me. Can I actually make that shot? Like, I want to see what it looks like. Yeah, you oh, be okay. fucking okay. A. Okay, yeah, right. No, no, go for it. Go for it. No, 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 go for it. We have an adder. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Ah! It's actually cool. <laughs> Well, I know, I know that Alonzo fucking grabbed Hamilton one time when we went when we went around the corner. Like he was playing a fucking yeah, but uh, I told you to take a shot. Yeah, and you told me to take the shot. The, the reason I didn't was because I did not know what the if the thing would actually let me shoot him or if it would make me shoot you both. Oh wait a minute, I'm for the upper right shoulder. I can yeah, I didn't, I did not know that it was fucking actually All right, like, I able to. I actually need to do a walk through this building. I've never really been over here. It's, it's no, dark no, and don't. fucking. Don't. You're gonna fucking see why I'm in there. Amy, no, we're oh, gonna lose Jesus. you. Amy, we're gonna lose you. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> bro, only if I had my no clip hours, bro, I'd be no clipping throughout the building. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, let so me go ahead and get my truck. You're losing staff for what you did? No, you're gonna strike low. Uh -oh. <laughs> what time is it? Six oh four. We'll start at six ten. Oh god, I'm choking. God, the chicken was too hard. Wait, hold on. That's not Can I help you, sir? Oh, Jesus! Who's killing who in the background over there? I'm coming! I'm going to oh, I'm yo, we got a whole new, um, duty thing? Yes. Holy shit, that's pretty fucking cool! Jesus. Ow! Roman off, you schmuck. Did he just call me a slur? 
a schmuck. Fucking right, man. Hey. Can you let me out, please? No, don't go out. Please. Yo, the 911 calls actually look dope as fuck. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they look a little bit more, um, compact. Is there no way actually in here without hopping over the fence? Yes, it is. I just realized my stupid ass was muted this whole time and I'm gonna kill myself. Never mind. No. And it was done for me by Romanov. <laughs> Wait, have you seen the, uh, have you seen the new... Can you get me up, please? On the integrity fleet? I have not. Oh, damn. I've heard about it, though. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find somebody that's seen them, because I want to know what they All look right. like. Mm -mm, I haven't talked to Legacy in, like, two days. <laughs> yeah, because I know, I know that they said that, uh... Legacy told me that they were they voted on it and they they got it like selected what their fleets are gonna Thank be. you. But they haven't I like saw it one time, but, uh, of it didn't really see it much. Right. I am appreciating with the new UI as well that there's actually icons for stuff. Damn it. There's actually icons for stuff. Um which is great. Oh god, did you this bitch you don't ring the fucking doorbell and she rings the fucking doorbell. Just come right up and look. Oh my god! Oh my god. That came in a little too close. Ow! I swear to god, I'm gonna blow his hole up. Hello, who I found? Oh my god. You better fucking start running. Try me, Roman. So, it, it, does anybody it, else see the 911s popping up? It, yeah. I I only seen the 311. I can't had to go see... back to the store and. How do you make the I'm chat dis the chat He's disappear and shit up. again? Uh, what button is it? It's all help. Guys, all, do you still need a? This chicken mac and cheese is so fucking good, bro. Oh, because I didn't have my fucking. Nine... Somebody do a test 911. I want to see what the 911. Like, be... Three minutes. All right, smoke. Go, go off. Go no, not all just sitting okay, here. What? Plus, it's just a training. What? Oh, okay, is it just yeah. a training, or is it like something like? That we're Don't quit fucking with the normal ones for an admin. Come out here. You shut the fuck up. Never mind. What'd you say? What'd you say? Look, I've got. Oh, you got the Ay ay ay. Typical Romanov. When are you smoke. Yeah, yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, you're good to go off and hide. You're, you're not doing anything in the... Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, but I'll tell you, you can go ahead and go no. hide. Hey, Clayton. Oh, shit, somebody Clayton. better go... Somebody better fucking go down to five and tell them to ignore all calls. No, that's what, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I've been putting that out. Hey, Clayton. Okay, man. You told me to go. All right, we're going to get started in VC. All, All right. right, everybody. Let me go right ahead and turn down my music. All right. All right. Let's gather around, kitties. Hamilton, I swear to God. Uh, hold on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Also, somebody can make sure they got body cam on suspect too if you have it. That would be awesome. I got the live stream going, so that could help. Oh, that would be better. Thank you. Boom. Yeah. If you need need be, I can pop the link right over in the ad. Hang on. Perfect. Sorry. <laughs> My food finally got here. You can't actually enter the university, so I'll just be on the grounds. Income. Okay. Well, this building yeah, to the can, right of the Yeah, you can only enter the abandoned building, all right? So as far yeah, as you no. smoke, yeah, you can uh, just go around shooting the locals. Yeah, I'll just be on the like, university. Start grounds. from like the back of the campus, 6021. Yeah. And do, yeah, I, do I'm not it. using full automatic either. I'll be fucking semi-auto AK. That's fucking him. What? All right, so Romanoff, that means you can go in your building since he ain't going to be going in. Well, my goal is not to fucking blow every cop down. That's fucking... Wait, no, I want to participate in this one. But I will be the shooter afterwards. Am I allowed to do that? Or do I got to yeah. shoot Get your, get out your turban gear and shoot. Oh, man. 
All right, we all ready? We Gucci. Everybody here? We listening? Not a bit. Alright, don't worry. Don't smile, smile, please, please, dude. I still have the banner safe. Please, I want a new this, one. This is this I want a new. I'm I want eating is crazy. Smile. I want a new picture. Well, I'm eating is crazy. Well, can't show that on stream. God damn it. What? Porn? Oh, sorry. No, not porn. Sometimes Hamilton, I stay. Hmm? Hamilton, what the fuck you been using chat GPT on? Uh, <laughs> no. Kentrell's got his camera on. I don't want to disrespect if he doesn't want to be on the stream. Mm -hmm. So. Matter of fact, why are you staying at home? You I'm straight. You wanna, yeah, you might want to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm straight. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm just saying because I'm live right now over the air and such. I just want to. Literally in Snapchat, I turn my camera on all the time. At this oh, point, okay. it's, it is what it is. Okay, I get you. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Oh crap. That's crazy. That was the best staff meme for a good two months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, let me get a picture of this attendance real quick and we'll get started. Boom. Oh. Chugga. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Throwing up, throwing up the threes. Is he said he was taking a he said he was taking a picture. I was like, alright. Uh, throwing up the threes. Is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an Atlanta man, if y'all ain't know. We gotta always throw something up. <laughs> he, lo he don't know. He don't know. Get that light out of my fucking eyes. You cross the block and motherfucker got change of signals to be able to stay alive. That's what I thought. Yo. Fuck, I full screen the wrong thing. <laughs> ATL up in here. Alright, like I said, this train ain't gonna be too long since all it's all right. in Howdy one. Yeah. Yeah. That's not even an actual sign, that's for the city. Jeez, the <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, like I said, this train ain't gonna be too long because it's all combining one instead of like our two, like we've been doing in the past, two separate ones. Hey, the college is out right now. Um, they're, they're on their. Uh, first, first, we're gonna be starting with our like active shooter portion. Of the week break or so, first of the week break, you know. Right here, we're comparing and contrasting because it can kind of be confusing for people. One day, and well, patrol officers. Off. Let me put it that way. Patrol day. officers. Oh. New to the state, Set. what an active shooter is shooting. and a barricaded shooter is. He's got a gun. The some I'm key differences calling, calling are gonna cops. be with the active shooter. Don't make me call the cops. Are gonna be I will. God, they're they're distracting me in state. My bad. I can't. <laughs> they're gonna be looking to kill as many people as possible. They're gonna be staying on the move. Really not trying to outlive somebody. Hadn't really seen that. Uh, well, I mean, yes, we have seen that where certain IRL school, not active shooters have given up, but most in state for this case don't. Especially what we had that one with K1 a couple days ago. Um, they're targeting civilians, like I said, anybody and everybody. For barricaded suspects, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna be in enclosed spaces. Most of uh, most of my barricaded sub suspects we see usually down at Grove Street. Them sons of bitches. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then we had one just this past, I want to say Friday or Saturday night. Um, pretty good response. We beanbagged him. He got him out. Um, they're usually going to be trying to come out alive because they have money, guns, whatever, some material objective. They're trying, they trying, to, trying to find a way to escape or have a way out. Um, not really trying to kill anybody. These barricaded suspects, they're going to be the ones that want to communicate with you more. This is where we call in our negotiators with SWAT, page them. Um, in this type of situation, we want to lock down traffic in the area and just keep him, keep him barricaded, in a sense, until we can get SWAT out. And if we don't get SWAT out, then we try to handle it the best of, best of our ability. All right? Uh, as far as active shooters, um, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, POD is the first response. We're, if you've got time to pay SWAT, go ahead, go for it, do it. Um, but if you can tell it's an active shooter situation, you need to be, like, 
booting and scooting trying to neutralize the threat, okay? Um, obviously, don't rush too fast to where you 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 go down or cause more lives. Um, cause more lives to be lost, right? We want to try to be tactical, but also with quickness. Uh, what else? Let's see, yeah, just remember every situation is different. Rush to that shooter if it's an active shooter. Wait and call for SWAT if for a barricaded suspect. For So far as active shooters, depending on how many we have in RTO, you want to own... Hmm. The people, uh, God damn it, that Olsen. Nah. Oh. Yo. Oh. So. Yeah. What's up? Uh, I'm drunk. Uh, I think you're stealing the spotlight from Mr. Ham. So actor shooters, basically, um, the pager does help out a lot in the state. If some of y'all haven't, don't know what the, uh, hadn't gotten a chance to see that. Uh, just do, don't send out a pager, I'm just showing you, uh, let, actually, let me, you can do slash pager, depending on your roles, you can subscribe to a channel, so, like, only one I can subscribe to is SAFR, because I'm not in SWAT or any tax, uh, but I believe if you do have the certified Leo role, you can either page out, you can send a pager out to our SWAT team, mm -hmm. which I think, um, what was that, sorry, yeah. Oh shit. My fucking. But yes, I think as long as you have the certified Leo role in main Discord, you can page out SWAT. Um, and that does connect to the Discord and they get a ping. And if they're in state, whether they're in a different soul or not, they'll get a ping, which is good. Sent, uh, we had to lock down Oceanside Medical last night and I sent out a ping about 1 2 in the morning. We had yeah. half the state hoping oh, to. Hey, yeah, Clayton, it was, wasn't it, huh? I mm -hmm. saw it was packed last night. I missed out on that shit. Like, so, just just know when you page, I do, somebody correct me if it wrong, if I'm wrong, does it only page our SWAT team, or does it page... It pages every Anybody SWAT team. and everybody. Yeah, so, okay. you don't have to subscribe to a role, if you have a role that winks in the pager, you'll automatically get it. Okay, so with the pager, just be mindful, like they said, it does page everybody with attack roll. So, kind of assess the scene. If you if if you think it's gonna go more, if you think you can't handle it, yeah, go ahead and hit that pager by all means. Try calling thirty twos first in RTO, but I mean, push come to shove, hit that pager, and I guarantee you half the state will be on your ass in like thirty seconds. You RTO, uh, I believe. Chief Commander Aaron dropped a uh, screenshot of what our RTO looked like at like 1, 2 in the morning after I dropped a SWAT pager. Mm, mm, mm. So j just be mindful of that. Um, uh, what else? What else? Some other things good to use on both these scenes. Invest in drones, thermal drones, so you can get exact location on suspects and whatnot. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Apologies. Oh, oh, sorry. But other than that, that wraps up the squad portion. Does anybody have anything they want to mention? Helpful tips during these situations or anything like that? I got. Mm -mm. Hear me? I think we should be Holmes. Hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's is this? In state or actually? Oh, what's up? Yes. Can I quickly have you drag me to your command office real quick? I have an idea for you. Yeah, hold on. My pager bugged out and stuck on. But, concern before I do that, anybody have anything they want to add that y'all think would be helpful to POD officers that we can add to the slides on this portion? or anything y'all want to mention right now? If not, we are in RTO 500. <laughs> My suspects, if you can move to RTO 501. If you're part, the first session we're going to be doing is active shooters. So go ahead and gear up, and I'll let y'all know when we get started. Let me go talk to Roman real quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm looking I'm over. I don't know who's across the I'm street, but there's some guy street. with the uh, top hat and suit going right across the street. Just do 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 do. What the fuck? I'm gonna drag smoke and roll out real quick. Oh no. Oh no. Tell me it isn't time for a new headset. It is time. It's time for a new headset. Oh shit. Hey. <laughs> that, that... That's not a headset. That's just a. That's just that's like half. I don't even know what to call that, bro. Just a head in one, like fuck. Look up where this still works. Oh my lord. Well, at least it works. That's the at good least. part. That's the good part. Right that's there. That guy was like twenty bucks off of Amazon. Yeah, I've had my headset from a seventy dollar razor kit Sorry. and everything. Oh no, biggie. Holy shit! Damn! Golly. Yours. My apologies. Oh. I'm having a seizure. Can we put this on the. Ain't no damn way that fucking train is over already. Where Hamilton go? He's, in, He's second. Yeah. Beat that pussy up. I need riot gear. Any volunteers? All right. How are we doing the signs? How are we doing the signs? Y'all all getting shot. I hope y'all know. Especially you. Not you. Krusty, Krusty Krab, unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there, standing at the concession, plotting his oppression. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Freeway edge. All right, how do I do the signs? Uh, it's like uh, E slash E S sign one two three, one two or three. So like. Yeah, I do. What a combat. If my chat box would come up. Alright, alright, everybody ready? <laughs> Not, well, almost. Hold on. So, oh, gotcha. yeah, everybody just Sorry. get in your cars, pop in RTO 500, act like you're normally patrolling, and wait for a down one. Yes, Papa Ham. Oh, uh, hey, Samuels. Hold on, let me go tell them. Hold on. Yeah, he's here. My oh boy. So what are we doing? Hop into the uh, pod they call. Stay close by to the university before this number one comes out. Three, two, three. Spread at least two to three. Elliot, out. hop into the pod pod call. Hello. Who's who do I have with me? Oh, it's A A Ron. Hello, sir. How's it going, Sappho? It's going, sir. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Just uh, overseeing this training. Um, we're of course. In a, uh, we're in a two, two three blocks out. R two five hundred. So. They're going to place the nine one one. Gotcha. Share your screen. I want to watch. Hey man, you guys spread out. I'm good. Step up. Are y'all good? Y'all ready? Two three blocks out. Send it, Holmes. You are Oscar Kilo to start. Three out of nine. You can show me in route code three to the nine one one campus. Send him the same track. Seven, same track. Eight four, same traffic. I can't battle road, I think. Oh, fuck. Damn, I'm give just on watch. Give him, give him time. I'm gonna be along Richmond campus. Street. I'm gonna be going on Are the back on of the campus. Deal? If we could get units on the front in the back, uh, that would probably be good. Chat, I'm not. I'm covering the back. 6021 Richmond Street. Chat, I'm not. Hamilton, I'm, Hamilton, I'm just on watch from my rooftop. Watching you right. all. 4-7, I'm, I'm gonna be 6025. Eight four break. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna have a. Uh, 
bad by shots fired and hit myself. Going to be one additional um, person down here. Going to be a white male, black shirt, black ski. Could have noticed multiple people running uh, westward away from correction, eastward from the campus. Potential active shooting. Fuck! Fucking shit. First up, do we want to get in groups of two uh, move in uh, to the campus to try to get people evacuated out? Yeah, not. I'm coming from the rear. I'm out. Son of a bitch. Ten and I got shots coming from the out of the camp. It's got 1099 down, officer simple. Ow! And I'm four multiple civilians down at this time. Okay. Shots fired. They're gonna be in this alleyway. Seven. They're gonna be here at six zero two three. They're gonna be right on that marker. Nine, I'm coming from the middle of the campus. Ten four seven two nine. They're gonna be last seen right here in this alleyway right here. If you want to get along the other side, we can try to box them in. And Hi, Lily. Box them in. I'm not sure where they are now. Uh, they're somewhere up in there. That's fire. They're behind us. They're gonna be up by the stadium area. Six zero two two area. Yeah, I'm for retreating back a little bit. This one gentleman over here by sixty twenty five is gonna be uh, some Arabic male with a uh, hijab on his head. Suspect. He's in the middle of the campus, 6023 westbound. 29, watch out that he was right there. You're running straight towards him. This is the last scene. 29, closing in, 6022. Move in with you. Over right here. Yeah, let me get some assistance. Okay, they're going to be over here. Over here. Got uh, Middle. Six, two, four. Let's get the drone up to see what's going on. One-time suspect 6024 by the secondary building. He's going to be armed with a one-time semi-automatic rifle and uh, additional pistol on his hip. Suspect barricaded 60, 60 24. He just went through the front doors of one of the abandoned buildings. If I'm going to move up to the suspect, I just got down at 6022 on the hill area. I'm going to go secure his weapon and I'm going to go try to get you. 209, I'm coming for you, 84. Three nine drone coming in. Go watch on crossfire. Have I 
Uh, is there going to be a secondary entrance then? Because he just went through this one. But we're on here. Um, so if we get one additional over to the east side of 6825 to watch that second entrance. Right now, when you get that drone out, let's get a sit rep over 6825. Received. It's going to go in for training purposes, but yeah. Subject is inside the building at this time, unknown location, could not get inside. Um, last seen on the east entrance, going inside the building, first floor. Eight four, going to be going around the building, performing at 360. Three nine, I'm right on top of you with the drone. Chat him now, we're stacked on the door. Everybody ready? Uh, negative. Let me get back to you. Advise him on you. Hey, from front, going to the front door. towards the front door so they can't rotate there's only going to be one additional entry exit come on man get side. in there oh son of a bitch <laughs> damn it <laughs> there's seven units inside the building let's just state yeah. our location if we're in different areas of the building <laughs> Just open the door, man! I Aaron, I can't get in the door with the drone. You gotta take the left door. The right door does not open. Follow me. Wedge. <laughs> you can go ahead and make entry with the drone. Disregard the shots. Disregard the shots. First floor is going to be clear. We're going to make our way up. Second. Three nine drone, be advised. We have a hole in the floor. Be very careful with your footing. Also, back hallway will be barricaded with some rubble. I got a clear path up to the rubble. I get two civilians up there. Two civilians. They're gonna be unarmed with their hands up at this time. Gonna be on the second floor staircase at the bottom. Second floor, uh, step by. Yeah, I can't hear you or anything. You got, you got friendly right here, too. Don't
minions with their hands up. If you're scared up here, you can probably try to get them down. Alright, but I know you're outside. Three nine. I'm hearing some noise inside room three o nine. Three o nine, third floor. If you come around the uh, backside through the stairwell. Got two shells running out of the building. No. My bad, locals. My bad. Friend, Two nine to friend. your right or left, rather. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to get shot. No. Got confirmed. Fight on the back. I didn't bag. shoot. Be he did. Second floor, room three hundred nine. Hey, hey man. Uh, are you able to come oh. to, come on out? No man, you can shoot on me. On. You shot my brother. Are you able to? Uh, we can have a unit come in with a bing bang. No. You shot. You Americans shot many of my people. Oh, Did Jesus you, Christ. Uh, no. hey, they're okay. They're okay. The, the, the no, they're not. They're dead. dead. They're no, the dead. Medical, no, dead. No, no, they're no, the dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're not even 60 no. dunker. I want to reiterate to you guys that this is a training session, so um, all of this is right now is uh, training purposes. What's my name? What's your name? My name's Elliot. No! What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no worry, Colby's. It's all good. Sorry. It's, it's all Abdul. good, man. My name is Abdul. Oh, uh. Of course. No. So, like, what's going on today to make you do this? No. Okay, I'm done. I was scared. I was in class. Yeah, it's it's all right. I mean, can, are, can you come on out, like, no. just unarmed with, with your hands up? I don't have, like, I'm not oh. armed, my friend. I don't know who you are. You might be the shooter. No, we're uh, we're law enforcement. Just come on out. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, no. I can't, I can't do that. I, I don't know if you're armed or not. Can no. No, just try this under the door. We can show you when you come out here. I don't want no. to. I don't want you might be shoot them. We're not gonna we're not gonna shoot you. We're not gonna shoot What's you. The other, there's another officer out there. Okay, no, can I... two okay. Oh, okay. No. I'll give you my badge. I'll slide it no. underneath the door. Okay, my friend. I'll show you it. Gotcha. No. Okay, my friend. You got me covered. That's the uh, civilians. My friend. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. My friend. Do not come in here. Not smart choice. I have I have a boot to protect myself. Three nine no visual with the drone I'm through the door. There you go. No. Disregard. Heat vision is on. Subject is up against the wall. Are you here to hurt me as well? No, we're not gonna hurt you. We're not here to hurt you. I don't believe you. We're, no, no, we're not here to hurt you. We're here I said to... I believe you. Subject will be okay. oh. left side of the uh, door. We're here to... Up against the wall. Appears to have something yourself. in his hand. Be by yourself. Uh, I can be by myself, but I'm not right now. But if you would oh, like... there's another one? There's just me and my partner. If... Who's your partner? He, he what can, can we do for you, boss? What what can we do to get you out of there? No, I know you man. get hungry or something. No, man. I go I go forty days without food and water. Oh God. <laughs> Just sad. We can get you some food and water. We can we can help you out. Yes, if, please. Just, just come on out here with your hands up, unarmed. I don't like it. Like you said, you're. You said you were unarmed. Man, there's, there's a woman here. in here. She's dying. Well, we're trying to get her to uh, safety as well. What do so I do? She's shot. Just come out with your hands up, unarmed. That's all you gotta do, and then we're good. Are you able to do that with for us? I don't know, man. Ah, I started screaming at that. Are you shooting? 
trying. Why is he trying? Are you able to? 3 9 please? from drone. It's, it's I can see subject holding. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, ah! oh, I didn't oh. mean to, my friend. My friend, I didn't mean to. You're good. Subject uh, will be holding friend, a automatic God, weapon. I'm scared. So, you. You're. No! Uh, you're are you armed then? No. Uh, are you sure? Cause. Uh, no. You're not sure. <laughs> uh, no. I'm not sure if I'm armed. Duh. Do you need medical attention? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then come on out and let's get some medical attention. Can you say my friend? We'll get you medical attention. Jesus Christ, Romanov. Okay, now. But unarmed, like I said. Un they yep, come on out. No, put your hands up. You? Put, what do you put, mean put, put your hands up. Oh, well. Uh, Be advised, taser deployed. Do not move. Stay on the ground. Put your hands up. There you go. The officer in front of 309, can you open the door so I can clear it remotely? I don't shoot. I have no gun. No, we're fine. I'm officer. You take that, alright? Don't worry about it. Can y'all not push me? Oh, damn. I've got 10, 15, heading out the building. 3-9 drone. Room is all clear. We are code 4. Copy. I'm sad now. No, I'm sad now. He ignored me. Hey, fuck it. He probably killed my uncle. Alright, boss. Don't worry. Don't worry, alright? Is my brother okay? All right, let's uh, get on over here. Move, lady. Jesus Christ. I request a Metro EMS taser prong 6024. First bit, I come around on and I fucking get shot. God damn it. Uh, Son of a bitch. Put him through the wall. Oh wait, no, I'm not, you're not talking, are you? Put him through the wall, Hamilton. Yeah, I, just... so. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah, so that wall that you came around on, that, that was just yeah. a bad wall. There yeah, was that was a very bad wall. wall. I oh, felt bad the moment that come I here. seen you come around back because here. like, I... I had to drop on you 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I try to get right back at you. I'm like, oh, shit. So yeah, that's why no, I went I back was, with the drone. So So I was I was trying my best not to just absolutely execute everybody. Cause for me, right. it's a lot easier to just keep moving. Oh, yeah. I hear you. I get you. Hi, Brooke. All right. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I gotta throw in a pizza in my uh, oven real quick. I will be right back. Hang tight, guys. Uh, yeah. Active shooter drill and barricaded suspect training has concluded. Thank you guys for joining and helping out. Let's get everybody to meet out front where the where the light is. Oh, everybody's already here. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> So, I enjoyed everything that happened. Um, I saw everything from the air, and then at the end came in pretty close. I saw no problems. Uh, one thing I will say is just be more communicative of your positions. I had a lot of officers just looking around aimlessly looking for people. Y'all weren't really telling people where y'all were. Give directions of travel of where you are. Give landmarks, give a street name something um whoever i believe elliot next time rather than shooting at him while he's down approach him whether he's still moving or not if he's injured or disabled at some point move in on him don't keep taking shots from your position 
Move in on him after requesting 32s to cover your ass so he doesn't pop up and shoot you. Gotcha. Um, I'm assuming we searched the rest of the the schoolhouse after Romanov was put into custody. Yes, we had already cleared the first floor and second floor. Okay. Alright, well that's all I got. Y'all did relatively, relatively good. Yeah, Chief Commander Aaron. Yes, sir. Are y'all gonna be at the, the, the meeting tonight? Yes. Yes, sir. Yep. That yes, starts sir. in what, 15 minutes? Eight o'clock EST, so yeah, fifteen minutes. Yeah. Oh, shit. I hope it's nothing about me. I promise. It was just a little. Ow, oh, you little. Sh Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow! We go down together. <laughs> that, that was dirty. Oh, fuck. Your favorite captain. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if I'm your favorite. Oh, I don't gosh. Know. Is there, what, who else is captain? Anyways, I'm here. Uh, Lynch. Ew. We have Lynch. We have. Uh, let me just see who else we Ew. got. Lynch. Hold on. We have Romanov. We have Samuel. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> oh. Teach him to say that word around me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wrong guy, but <laughs> oh, get two. fucking red. Oh shit. <laughs> Of course. No weapon needed. That was uncalled for. I want that. Oh my god! You stupid. How did there's not nothing I can do? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Does, but not that. What oh. the? F <laughs> what the fuck, one. Romanov? I did not do that one. Rice. Am I ad reviving everyone right now? It looks like it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh gosh. Alright. Off to uh, whatever station we're heading to for the mating. You said what? You had to code 3 for that? There is. I'm gonna go to Vinewood. Find what it is, then! You can go sit in there and take care of my notes. How you do that? How you just build himself on that? Rico 3 or what? God damn him! <laughs> How do you off yourself? Oh, you go to player options and click suicide. Yeah, right. I wasn't approved by IAA. I wasn't approved by IAA. I got your ass. <laughs> well, All right, I'll be right back IAA. with you guys yeah, for the meeting it. momentarily. Okay. All right, so just to give you guys a heads up, that was a training that was um, occurring right over there. So um, we had that going on for us. Um, yeah but nevertheless uh hope everybody is doing well hope everybody is having a good freaking time 
We are going to be rocking and rolling some dispatch here a little later on. We're going over to PD for a meeting. I got to go 10-8 here. Hang on. Let's go ahead and do that first. Let's do that. And zip back to five. Three out of nine. You can show me 1041 10A active 71 and SEP supervisor for LSPD. Oh yeah, we can take a look at the observatory. Um, yeah, we got about a couple minutes. We got a few minutes. Yeah, we'll go right on up. Let's see what's cracking up over there. All right. Yeah, typical goofball sessions over in the uh, server. Holy shit, that house looks fancy. God damn. Whoo. That house looked nice. I don't know who owns that house, but man, oh man. They is lucky. Oh, look, it's the weed planting park from Bluebird. Ah, uh, the good days. Hey, Lou made money there. Lou made money on that, so. Good old days of Bluebird. Mm. Oh, what do you do for a living? I grow weed in the park. Where the kitties and doggos play. It is pretty up there, yes. We're gonna see. That looks like here momentarily. How much time left do I have before my pizza goes? Um, about 13 minutes. Yeah, so this is where um, the chief got married. Such. So it's uh, transformed into a uh, wedding pavilion. Yeah, so we got. You got a nice um, wedding pavilion going on over here. We got a dance floor. If anybody's epileptic, I apologize. All right. Then we have, um, ow, gospel stage, theater, all right, lovely view from the observatory.
look at that city. Oh, so freaking beautiful. Mile High Club right over there. That is beautiful. Yeah, I'll fix it up for you guys. So freaking pretty. See down to Vespucci Beach, to the airport, South LS, all the way over to the casino over in the background there, Marietta Heights. Oh, hi. Look at me like I got three fucking heads. Excuse me. Ugh. Bitch! <laughs> she looked at me like... <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright, let me just uh, see what we get going on over here. Oh, Lord. So freaking pretty out here. Oh goodness. Where's everybody going? Can't sit up there, that fucking elevator Where music. The meeting room, but you can't talk or shit. It's just elevator music, so I'm not gonna sit in there. <laughs> it's oh, up, up top. Alright, I'm back. I'm literally going yeah. here at the last minute. Do we... Damn, what state are you from? Alabama. Damn, ah. Sweet! Oh, That's crazy. <laughs> south, no south. <laughs> I would ask you where you think I'm from, but I already told you. Yeah, you did. Any guesses as to where I'm from? You're from fucking nowhere, Michigan. No! Well, you, you sound like you're from up nowhere. You really <laughs> like I, <laughs> I mean, up north is where Michigan is, yes, but no, wrong state. Up about where Michigan is? Are we talking west? Are we talking south? Are we talking east? I'm not in Michigan. How's that? I'm saying, like, proximity. Am I going <laughs> west, south, or east? East. East? Uh, are mm -hmm. we talking Ohio? No. Are we talking... Virginia, Massachusetts, it's, 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 Massachusetts it's, it's, is pretty Western close. East. I'm not too far from Mass. Delaware. Delaware is way out from Massachusetts. I mean, it's relative in terms of like distance. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Uh, been there a few times. <laughs> been been to Pennsylvania. Been to Pennsylvania a few times. Maryland. Maryland. Not Maryland, more north. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, 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 hold on, say coffee for me. Coffee. Damn it, he's not from New Jersey, New York. He's from <laughs> Connecticut. No. Let me put my class A zone. He's from Connecticut. No, I'm not from Connecticut. Oh, New Hampshire. Bingo. Oh fuck. I was like, damn. Let me hear him say coffee. That should give me a good estimate where he's at. Coffee. <laughs> no, that a, shit worked like a, a charm. A, fu <laughs> a funny bit about that, as soon as you said that, it just made me think of the funny bit that one of my friends who streams as well would do that with his friend who roleplay as a southern guy. He's just like, say coffee for me, uh, Rick. It works so fucking coffee. well. I don't coffee. know why. Like, you can literally geographically know where someone is from based on how they say the word coffee. <laughs> say coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> or, or if you're from the south, or if you, if I think you're from the south, then you, I would ask someone to say, "Oh." Or 
four seven. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for somebody higher than me to get on to tell us to move to VCs because I really don't understand. The current vehicle. The meeting isn't until I'm eight thirty. Rash. Abandon. Oh. Got a vehicle down That's the road. Fucking wait. Eight thirty now. The meeting was scheduled at eight thirty. That's what I thought Sorry, it was scheduled for eight thirty. Y'all need to Six twenty-five. It's gonna be a blue. I thought it was <laughs> for yeah, freaking eight. Hey, uh, hold on. Hold on. tweaking. Let's hurt. make sure we're getting time zones confused, first of all. Oh, Jesus it's Christ. Damaged very badly. Well, I'm going to be stopping ESP, it. Six one eight six. Occupied time, it time zone. So three, it appears. That's 30 minutes. I get 32. Kowofi before you... Yeah, Moida someone. Long, yeah. 8.30 p.m. CST, so we got 30 minutes. Son of a bitch. If you need any more to... ESP. ESP. Different, we may need to... CST. More... If no. <laughs> I get one with me and then another one uh, at the bar to check. Alright, I'll be back. Then for some. Now, where the hell is this? See you at the department meet? When? Freaking when? Hold on a second. Mandatory department meet. Oh, that's, that's uh, 830. So, uh, oh. It's one, eight thirty. Oh. Alright, so I got about another five minutes before I have to go and check my pizza. Very bad damage. One four on one, stand by in case they take off. I'm gonna go up to the window. Kowofi, right before you moiter okay. someone. I don't know, man. It's gonna be all white kids again. <laughs> a gig's a gig, I guess. I'm just looking for something more real, you know? What you doing in here? I work here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's going on, bud? What is that? Open stash. One four, we got a uh, another vehicle on scene. If you want to roll that uh, secondary, mm. just up here. Uh, we got another vehicle. Up One's up back here. Oh shit! Better not drop this open there. Oh, uh, oh, sweet! Idea the relation. For, can an officer go to the bar back there uh, to try to get camera footage? <laughs> uh, son of a bitch. I love my job. <laughs> Alright. Yes, you did see a poop animation. Hang on a second. Do that right here. <laughs> yeah. There's also a P animation as well. Hang on a second. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on a second. Although, Lou's urine has been a little bit on the red side. It must be all the... Uh, Gatorade he's been drinking or something. <laughs> oh shit, I'm, I'm spreading it all over the place. No! Slash golden shower. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's just, he's just peeing all over the place. <laughs> I caused this mess, I'm sorry! <laughs> I have an individual on a top hat approaching.
Dodge. <laughs> For some of their taking off, uh, they ran my vehicle. Okay, fine. I'm gonna get to this stupid oh, shit. SUV. But I'm gonna uh, sedan behind me. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Subject of the red vehicle's running. Uh, I can go after him. I'm sticking it with this uh, SUV here. Oh and my god. I gotta go check out my four. pizza, guys. I will be right back. <laughs> Sit tight. We got more loot coming your way. <laughs> oh god. One for, I'm gonna try and get a pit off on this guy here. you doing? Oh, what's going on? Set? 
Meow. Let me get my headphones on. You doing pretty girl? Hi, say hi everybody. Hi. Three nine to all units. Make sure you have your blip duties on. I'll copy. Five David three hundred to the officer that was with me on Route thirteen. Um, do you know uh, what the make and model of the car was? Negative. I know it was a uh, larger SUV. Ten See, four so from my dash high. camera looks like to be a, a blue in color Granger. It looks like. That sounds about right. And see, they were saying hi. So be advised, we're going to be looking for a Say hi. Uh, plate dead ace. Uh, blue in color, four door Granger. Was last seen going towards Polito. I'll be notifying DCSOs. Say hi. Yeah. She's a good girl. It's a happy pup. Yeah, she's going to be uh, seeing me all day tomorrow. I was freaking beat after work today i i was almost about ready to cancel this but i mean of course i had to do my due diligence uh tomorrow is still gonna be a uh, toss-up by the way uh for streaming Let's see what happens there but nevertheless Yep. Uh, possibly. I, I might be taking the day off. Um, let's see how. Let's see where things go from there. All right, three and nine back in service. Hey, bud. Uh, David, three hundred BCSO and SASP have been uh, alerted of what's Hello? what situation we have with the vehicle. Uh, if you guys have any more any more information, uh, please go ahead and relay it to any other other department. Hello. Hello. Hi, um, Hi. where's your blip duty, Buzz? Just getting on duty. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Carry on. My apologies. All good. I just tried to in. Oh yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. <laughs> All right. So. We get about 15 minutes before we uh, have to um, go to this meeting and such. So I'm kind of wondering, whereabouts would they do this meeting? You know what? I have a great idea where they could do this meeting. Let's uh, go for a ride. Yo. We're gonna go for a red. Elsa, how are you this evening? How goes things? See, you've been uh, rocking some Bluebird in Iconic. How is Iconic, by the way? Yo. It's good? Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Alrighty. Good, how are you? Doing alright, a little tired. 
a little sore, but doing okay. Um, we're just gonna head down, downtown towards Rockford at this moment. So we're gonna go down that way. After this meeting, we'll start uh, dispatching, but I mean, other than that, I just wanted to clear things up. I, I just wanted to ask the question, make sure that there was a meeting that was supposed to take place about um, toxicity. Ah! Oh shit. Ow. Yeah, that sounds about right. We're gonna go over here. Yep. Oh, y yeah, that's uh, interesting. There we go. That's all fixed up. Cool. Alright, let's go on in. Oh, Jesus. There we go. That's better. These are washrooms. What the hell? This is like the uh, state house or Supreme Court or something. Bro, really? Give me a fucking hallway. There we go. Are you kidding me? What What are we doing? What's going on with... What's this office down here? Oh, these are just like lawyer offices or something. Six seven six, show me ten eight ten forty one. Active as ten seventy one. All right. These are just offices up here. Yeah. All right. So I gotta go. Oh, he's outside. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is a very perfect room for a meeting. For a huge, like, meeting. Unless, um... Let's say an officer were to get in trouble, and they were on, like, court duty or whatever, this would be the sign right... This would be the place right here. Okay, well, that works, too. Hi! What's that say? Eddie. Aww! How cute. July 3rd, 2011. 
Oh, March 7th, 2011 to 1128. Oh, shit. Well, that just happened. I guess, uh, I guess we wait. Hmm. No. All right, all right, all right, all right. They're probably doing a little bit of an update, so we'll wait about for a little bit. Um, yeah, let me see what I got going on for... Um, this week while we're here, uh, chill stream supposedly either tomorrow or Tuesday. We are going to be doing uh, cities later this week to make up for Friday. Um, Friday we had a uh, surprise collaboration out of nowhere, but that's all right. We had some fun. Uh, Thursday, seven days to die, chill stream Friday. Let's see where things take off from there. Next Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be busy mornings. Yep. Got some crazy stuff coming up later in the next couple of weeks. That's still hot. Holy shit. All right. Let's see, do I have anything else going on? Let's see, what, what do we got going on this? Well, that doesn't help me. Where's my earnings calendar? That's some bullshit. All right, Firefox. Not now. Earnings. Earnings calendar. Man. Boop. Data is currently not available. Oh, God. A multiplayer game coming soon to Steam. Toilet Simulator together. Why do I do these things? Why? No, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to do uh, some 76. It's been a little bit since I did um, 76. Uh, that and um, you know what else we haven't done, guys? We haven't done a Among Us stream in God knows how long. How long has it been since we did Among Us? Let me see. December 26, 2021. Jesus. Yeah, we're way overdue for a um, for a uh, Among Us stream. That you were. That you were. <laughs> Let me see. See if I get together. I'm going to add the favorites there. Let's see. What I haven't done as well, um, since I had some crummy settings, was um. Bum -ba -da -dum -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Let me see here. I haven't done Resident Evil Three. For a long while. Yeah. 
yeah. Alright, what do we got going on over here? There's the earnings calendar. Anything coming up this week? Mm. We have Dell Thursday, Best Buy Thursday, Dollar General Thursday, Campbell Soup. Thursday. Um, I could have sworn there was a NVIDIA one. When was NVIDIA? Build a Bear Thursday. Hang on. NVIDIA was Wednesday. Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday night, same with Salesforce, CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike, pfft, that's probably going to get some bad rep, personal opinion, so I'll chalk that one up on the, um, list of watching. HP on Wednesday, let's see, what else we got, Affirm on Holdings on Wednesday. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Wednesday. Five Below Wednesday. Foot Locker Wednesday. Coles Wednesday. In case anybody is wondering what um, I'm talking about. I'm talking about earnings for companies. And such. Uh, I like to keep up on that. It's uh, something I'd like to keep up on with on the side and everything. Like, I'm an investor myself with work over at Walmart and such. And we just had a very good, um, very good uh, earnings call, uh, I believe, a couple weeks ago. Week and a half ago. There it is. Yeah. So we did pretty good. That. And perhaps you might be trading futures soon. Indeed, indeed, indeed there, Colby. Indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so we're doing it in here. Oh. Oh, so they're doing it on the uh, servers. Um... We're going to start promptly at 8.30, so um, I really yeah. hope that your divisions and your command staff and officers and our sergeants are present because this is not a great turnout. I'm not pleased by this. There's been plenty of advance notice about this meeting. Uh-oh. Suppressed. Oh shit! You do not have permission to speak in this channel. Oh shit! Uh oh. Got another ten seconds here. So yes, uh, I am learning how to trade futures on the side and everything. It's been a little bit, but I gotta. Uh, Jim's in the hospital for crying out loud. He's here. So we're gonna. Yep. See what's going on here. It's 8.30. We had a meeting scheduled for today at 8.30, so we're going to get started. Um, this is, um, as much as we would like to do these more frequently, um, time does uh, play into effect of being able to get your chief team together to come up with um, topics that we need to discuss. But um, moving forward, we will be doing these, if not monthly, every other month. Um, 
And I think that when we don't have a department-wide meeting on the months that we don't have that, we will be having divisional meetings. Um, so let's get started. Um, so we're going to start with just your chief team um, addressing you today. Um, and then we'll move on to divisional updates um, where your high command or those representatives for those that couldn't be here um, will get up and speak for your divisions. Um, so our agenda today, um, I'm going to speak to you guys for a little bit. And then we're going to talk about enhancement of public safety, um, building relationships, um, assessing immediate needs of the department, um, effective communication and transparency, um, improvement of response times, um, how we can better promote integrity and accountability in our department and um, also have division report outs. Um, in addition to that, um, we have some some fun things in store for you uh, today as well. Oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> this is gonna get interesting. So, um, I feel like it's been a minute since we've had a meeting, um, but what I recognize when we were putting this together is that we are almost a year into this administration. Holy shit. Um, and approaching that year mark, I think, is a really huge thing. Um, we've managed to maintain um, the three chiefs that originally started this administration when we came here in September of last year, which is a huge, huge um, accomplishment but it's been it's been quite a ride um, I I want to begin by expressing um, my gratitude to all of you um, to my chief team um, to all of our high command our command and our officers and sergeants um, for your commitment um, and the dedication that you bring to the department um, and you know to this great city of Los Santos and its citizens um, the challenges uh, we face as law enforcement officers, they're numerous and it's ever evolving. Um, but I do have the utmost confidence in each of you and your ability to continue to rise to the, to rise to the occasion like you do. Um, so today I wanna to talk about the importance of teamwork, um, integrity, and mutual respect. Um, I wanna talk about every day that you put on that uniform, that you uphold the values to make this city safer and stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and your commitment to that excellence and how it does not go unnoticed. And for that, you have my utmost respect and admiration, so I thank you. Um, we're not just enforcers of law here. We're guardians of the community. It's our responsibility to protect and serve, um, to be a shield for those who need it, and to hold ourselves to the highest standards of professionalism. So when I think back on what a year looks like, um, we've seen a lot of challenges as we approach that one-year mark. Um, of this administration, but I think that together we met them head on and we proved time and time again that we are more than capable of being resilient um, and um, supporting one another. So as we move forward, I want to emphasize um, the need to have continued training, uh, collaboration and communication. Um, we are a strong department and it's essential that we support one another, that we share knowledge that we lift each other up and not tear each other down and work together towards common goals that we have here. Today's meeting is also crucial um, as we continue to strengthen our department to adapt to the needs of the community. Um, we'll be discussing important updates that we have, um, <coughs> reviewing recent performance um, oh, and setting crap. clear objectives for the coming months. So I encourage you, once we get to our presentation, um, to be an active participant in today's meeting. Um, share your insights, voice your concerns, bring your ideas to the table. Um, remember, our, our strength does not lie in our individual efforts. It's in our unity and collaboration as a team and as a family here. So uh, thank you, and let's have a productive meeting. Do any of my other chiefs have anything they'd like to say in opening? Not yet. No, ma'am. Nothing to add yet. Chief Turner? Chief 
Truth might be in listening mode only. Just I think he had something a prior engagement today, so that was previously planned. So first topic is talking about the enhancement of public safety. Our primary goal remains um, the safety and security of our citizens. Um, we must continue to focus on reducing violent crimes, um, particularly those that are gang related activities, drug trafficking and closer overwatch of our harbor and parts, our ports. Um, we will be increasing our visibility in high crime areas um, and enhance our community policing efforts to build stronger relationships with the public um, through community policing. Um, officers need to be engaging with the community more when you're on your regular patrol. So if you know that there's somebody who's got a local business open, go visit it. Go 10-5. Go have a lunch. Go get a sandwich. Go grab a coffee. Engage with that community. Um, we're also looking to partner and work with local like club owners and other businesses um, for officers to maybe earn some overtime and bonus pay for officer off-duty security opportunities. So be on the lookout for that in the future. Um, proactive policing needs to be a focus in high crime areas, um, increasing visibility and working to deter criminal activities with a stronger police presence. Um, and it, just these, just these couple of points here, there's just a few strategies that LSPD can do to significantly enhance public safety, uh, in Los Santos. Building relationships, partnerships with local agencies, joint task forces, um, collaborating with other law enforcement agencies on high profile criminal cases, drug enforcement, gang violence, and just overall traffic safety, especially um, on our freeways and highways. Um, we have shared resources and trainings that we have. Uh, Commissioner Romero, he hosts regular um, joint training exercises, and I encourage all of you to attend those if you're available. He usually hosts those on Sundays. Um, and even our detective bureau, they have the CES um, detective pipeline. Um, that should be utilized for joint agency cases. I don't know what that is. It allows us to be able to communicate with all of the coalition departments through CIB and a channel through our Discord without having to go into their Discords. Yeah, with all the Discords being whitelisted and not everybody having access, um, uh, Chair Chairman Bleasy uh, created a bot that enables all of them to be able to talk to each other through that channel. So it's a really cool resource. Um, and just in talking with having relationships with other agencies, remembering that when you're working scenes together, that you're on calls together, that even at times that you may not agree, it's okay to agree to disagree. Um, and making sure that you're professional Hi, and you're polite to other agencies. Thank you. Addressing immediate needs for LSPD. So currently, the Chief's team is conducting a comprehensive assessment of all of our divisions um, as a whole. Um, we're going to be looking into identify where our core strengths and weaknesses are um, and where our opportunities lie to help us create strategies to have um, more efficient policing. What does this mean for your divisions? The Chief's team will be meeting with each division in the coming days um, to assess where you are as a division, um, what is going on in your division, how your division is performing, um, and where you are as a whole. So be on the lookout for that. Um, this is pretty cut and dry um, about being an effective communicator and having transparency. As a Chiefs team, our promise to all of you is that this administration will actively communicate with the department to maintain transparency so everyone is informed. Upholding the highest standards of integrity is non-negotiable here in this department. Um, we will continue to enforce strict adherence to our code of conduct um, and ensure that violations are addressed promptly and fairly. Um, I'm going to touch on this for just a moment because... Um, Every department has its ups and downs where we all have different personalities. We have all we all have different ways that we communicate with each other. And a lot of times what happens is that um, we come out of role play and we hang out with each other and maybe how one person is acting in a situation or in a game um, isn't necessarily received well by the other. Again, remember, we're a community here. Um, but when that type of situation turns toxic and that toxicity starts bleeding 
there it the is. rest of the department. If you don't know me by now, I will cut toxicity out of the fucking department like cancer. So if that means that somebody loses their job over some bullshit and off to, off the record, that's what that means. Are we all tracking that? Yes, ma'am. Improving response times. Strategic uh, patrols officers um, can position themselves in strategic locations around the city or in your AOP where you can quickly respond to calls. Um, having efficient patrol routes helps to cover broad areas but allows you to have quick access to hotspots. Start, y'all have to spread out. We're still too clumped up together, I think, sometimes. And I know that AOP sometimes plays into that. Um, Ron, I know we had some discussion on that. I don't know if you want to touch on this slide at all. Um, if you wanted to elaborate a little bit. Sorry to put you on the spot. Yeah. Um, honestly, just observing where a majority of calls are. Um, say, North LS AO and Mirror Park is AOP. If that's your AOP, then spread out evenly. There shouldn't be eight officers in Mirror Park only just because that's where the calls are coming from. Because then... All those eight officers are, you know, two minutes away, three minutes away from North LS, Vinewood area, even five minutes possibly from uh, Oceanside Medical. We want you all to spread out. Think of it as every officer should have a, a four or five block radius with an AOP. There should be no reason that there's, you know, three or four units within five blocks of each other. Maybe two, any more than that, that's a bit too much. Just evenly spread out, and we'll be good. Awesome. Thank you. So we have some good things that we want to bring to the table. Yeah, sometimes we have to come here and we have to have a hard conversations, but um, we have some new items. We have some things that are coming soon and some police and tool updates to give you. Um, so we just got a new fleet. Um, so we have our beautiful new Integrity fleet um, and also the Bravado uh is it the Bravado SDX? Um, it just had some updates made. Um, Legacy just posted an announcement about that. Um, but I'm excited to tell you that we're going to get a new livery to go with this new fleet. So I am. this is just some photos here um, from where we purchased it from. Um, and we're going... Are we going to also flip it black and white? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Okay. I gotta say, I gotta. I haven't really messed around with it yet. Gotcha. Um, so there's the potential we may flip it to have black with a white hood and then the white with the black hood. So, but this is what our new fleet is gonna look like, or what our new livery is gonna look like. Um, it's gonna have like our logo and stuff on it. But overall, essentially, this is the the general idea. <clears throat> so, we are going to be launching in the future. I don't have a date yet, um, but we are gonna be launching our marine unit and our search and rescue unit. Um, I like the sounds of I that. Think that. This will give us the opportunity to have that coverage. Um, we have been finding, I think, too, that um, we, if Coast Guard's not available, like we don't have the ability to to get in the water quick enough. So, um, I think it's time that we have a marine unit um, and really follow through with getting that launched, um, and then search and rescue operations. I can definitely um, agree to that. We haven't exactly figured out where that's going to lie, who that's going to fall under, who's going to run it. Um, so just stay tuned for that um, announcement in the near future. It's like one of my favorite videos, too. <laughs> um, so for those of you who have been maybe out of game for a while, we have a new handcuff script. Um, you have to have handcuffs and keys in your inventory. So you will still third eye to um, to handcuff somebody, but if you don't have cuffs and keys in your inventory, you won't be able to cuff and uncuff them. Um, so these can be picked up from any station in their armory, and in some stations <laughs> there's an inventory place um, that you have to get it from, like MRPDs is in the garage. Um, and then we have AL ALRP tracking. Um, so if you're in game and you do slash AL, or, oh my God, AL, is it AL, did I put that one? Thank you. <laughs> slash ALPR tablet. Um, you can, thank you. Um, you can enter the license plate. Um, you can search for it. You can track it. 
and then <coughs> also show where these see all these little blue over um, pinpoints on this map. This is where the AL they oh my god what the fuck today ALPR families <laughs> are. They're actually all over the state. I just kept this to the city, um, but you can see when you show hits on the map after you track the plate, it'll actually track that particular one all over the map. It'll also give you a list of the date and time and the location where the last hits were. I'm laughing with them, not at them. It'll also pull up on your... um, I'm hoping that you're running your your plate readers. Um, So, which reminds me, I far more often than not, you guys are not locking plates. Um, We need to really start locking plates so you can put them into the ALPR. Chiefs, do any of you have anything to elaborate on this? Um, go for it. To find the vines for that, you'll just have to go down and find the <clears throat> settings. And it should be like plate lock front, plate lock back. You just set that to your keys, so you can lock it, and with the plate locking system, you automatically lock the plate, you'll go ahead and run it through the cat. And it'll tell you if it's registered, if it's not registered, if it's registered, if it's names, if it has a warrant. Your plate reader will go ballistic. <laughs> yep. That's true. That's exactly what I was going to say. Um, we want to empower you. Your voices matter. Um, feedback is extremely vital to the success of how we affect change here in this department. Um, utilizing the feedback forms, they're anonymous, and they're reviewed by our high community chiefs team. Leading by example, I know we talk about this a lot, but continue to set a positive example in the department through your work ethic and communication style um, and maintain professionalism at all times. And be committed to the mission uh, and vision of LSPD. Um, We're going to start with our division report outs. we're going to hear from admin, field training, CIB, SWAT, SVAT, SAP, and POD. Um, so I'm going to bring to Adam 7 up um, so he can speak on the administrative division. And if you're major and um, and obviously your, your chief commanders are here. So is Josie still here? All right, there we go. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Um, sorry if I sound like uh, kind of bad. I'm on my phone. Um, so a couple of things. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to burn through everybody's time. Um, for the people in admin, um, I came up with this cool thing today. Uh, you know, I'll put in an admin command, and uh, you know, we'll talk about that more in depth, like with just us afterwards too. Um, it's kind of like a <laughs> breakdown of all the like. Um, the, like the admin statistics. So on this bar graph, it would have stuff like new hires, terminations, uh, divisional terminations, transfers in and out. Um, and then I'll put it in there so we can talk more about that. Um, to go over kind of uh, what was asked, um, for, for our update, um, you know, the admin team, they're remaining busy as ever. Uh, you know, there's obviously been a few bumps in the road, had some people leaving, um, uh, you know, some other people kind of losing interest. That's, that's totally understandable. Um, you know, specifically, and, you know, I do apologize if this is very to the point and blunt. I'm not trying to be rude at all. I'm just addressing what is going on. Um, there's been a mad slip in department records. Um, I don't know if it's people not following templates. I don't know if it's people, um, you know, not wanting to do them. That's, you know, that's obviously, um, kind of a concern, but, you know, we have the templates. Let's try to follow them. All you have to do is literally copy and paste them and edit what you want. Um, you know, one thing too, uh, you know, we are, one, one of the biggest things is, um, you know, we're determined to improve the expectations, um, you know, whether that's holding the officers accountable, um, us ourselves being part of the admin team to hold, um, you know, that expectation. Uh, I had a question for them about the department see, records. Um, you know, the cool thing about I can hold is, back. you know, we have all different types of ranks in there. It doesn't really matter who it is. Um, and, you know, it, it makes me very proud too to have everybody 
um, go ahead and actually, you know, be the highest expectations, you know, be the officers that are going to be helping people and everything like that. Um, that's that's one thing that, you know, I was super excited about. Originally, when I came into LSPD, and that was the one of the biggest things that I had in mind, was to be the people that we can, uh, you know, anybody in the department can look to us and ask us a question, and we can answer that question and, you know, maintain that professional and respectful manner. Um, our current headcount, you know, we got 33 people in, uh, in admin. Uh, that basically just means we got 33 HR officers. Uh, we Holy have 26 shit. IA investigators. Um, you know, one thing I do want to touch brief touch really on is, um, you know, that's a lot of investigators, right? That's, that's, you know, over the large majority of people that are in admin are being investigators. Just make sure that you're doing your part. If you don't find that you have time for it anymore and you kind of want to get away from the investigator, that's totally fine. I understand. Just message me. That's all I, res uh, all I ask. Um, you know, we are still looking for a HR captain. Uh, we have two lieutenant positions open too, so I know I sent a ping about uh, about that in admin announcements. Um, if you guys are interested, you know, by all means, man, give it your best shot. Throw in an application. Let's see where it goes. Um, we so following that template, uh, we'll, we'll touch just briefly, real quick, about you know, kind of just a couple challenges that we've had, um, and I know we'll talk more specifically about this, so I'm not going to go too much in it. Um, overall. Uh, we're doing great. Let's just make sure we're keeping a positive attitude, guys. Um, you know, of all the people, Brooke said it herself, um, there's no room for toxicity within this department. Um, you know, if, <laughs> best way to put it, if you don't get in trouble with it for with her, I'll definitely talk to you about it myself. Um, one other thing, uh, you know, just be respectful of the chain of command, guys. That's all I ask for. Uh, obviously, like I said, a lot of ranks, a lot of different people in admin. Um, just be respectful of the chain of command, right? Like, if, if you need something, go to the proper chain of command. If somebody else tells you something, be respectful and follow through with that and just kind of do your part with it. Um, and then last thing, I do want to touch over the wins that we've had in the, depart uh, in the division lately. And some of those are just the quality and the inclusiveness that we have in the, this division. It makes me super freaking proud of everybody. Um, whenever we have new investigators and we have new HR officers actually coming in, uh, you know, the responsibilities, they're shared equally. Um, everybody's giving everybody a fair chance and letting them learn. Because uh, that's the only way that you're going to learn is if you do it yourself. So awesome job on that, guys. And I know lately we've been back on top of promoting people and kind of just showing uh, credit where credit's due and having, uh, you know, just kind of incentivizing those officers uh, who are doing, you know, above and beyond work every single day. <coughs> um, you guys are killing it. Awesome. Um, I guess last thing, don't forget about the awards, guys. We got we got that Google form. If you think somebody needs recognition, throw it in there. That's all I got. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Field training, if you'd like to come up. Can you move me down, por favor? Yeah, no problem. Can somebody take care of it? Thank you, Commander. All right, Messer, go ahead and give us your updates, please. Um, I'm gonna have Romana start us off here. She's been tracking all the um, all the tickets, all the trainings that we've been doing. Um, been working on the uh, roster I need to go through and uh, update that. Um, right now we have 22 members within the field training division, but obviously there's been a lot of department records and all that, so I have to get some time on my hands to uh, go through and completely updated but um i've been adding and subtracting from the uh roster as we go uh roman if you have to come up and uh let them know on the uh tickets and all that i invited her to speak Uh, that's from me inviting them. Stakeholder. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm here. I was having some technical issues. <clears throat> um, I'm here. We can hear you. 
Hmm. Oh, how did Chosen fix that? Okay, there we go. Can y'all hear me now? Yep. Yep. How's it going, everybody? Um, so pretty much, we only have three different points. We, we don't have that much. Um, overall, MCD has been doing a great job. Um, I love all y'all. Um, so roughly we have, we have, a good, we have a good amount of transfers. Uh, for, for this month and uh, a couple of last week. The deaths we're not getting as many, but we are still getting a good amount. Um, so we still have a good amount of cadets, but we aren't getting as many as we used to. Um, I would suggest to HR that maybe we do some recruitment events. Uh, maybe get those recruits back up. Um, the trainings, the trainings are going great. Uh, they're getting done in about an hour and a half, or like 45 minutes-ish. Um, throughout the ride-alongs, the practicals, they don't take that long. Um, they, pretty, they take about maybe 20, <laughs> minutes of um, Most of the time, most cadets do know how to do that, and I'm very glad that, we, that most of those cadets do know what to do. Um, and our transfers, they obviously know what to do because they were in the, uh, in another department, obviously. Um, but yeah, they're going very well. They don't take too, too long, which is a good part about it. Yeah. Let's see if you can read that. I'm pushing along. Yes. We're, we're, we're okay. trucking. So I'm trying to read your message. You're good. Yeah, we're um, we're trucking along here. We're uh, we're doing good. We're we're at uh, we're not at a standpoint. We're not uh. How many FTOs do we have in the department right now? We currently have, including command, twenty two. Okay, that's good. That's good. Is that um, do you feel do you feel that that um, that workload is spread evenly over your active like for those who have if you take out high command who obviously get that role and um, your chief team so yeah. how many do you truthfully have is it still twenty something Let's see it is for me and Pedro are gonna get together you know, about you know. fifteen right now. Okay. Do you feel that the workload is spread evenly over your FTO team? Um, I would definitely would like to see some more FTD applications. I would love to see y'all come out and um, help FTD. Uh, obviously, we're one of the foundations, along with admin, we're like a brother-sister relationship. <laughs> um, Absolutely. So I would definitely like to see some of y'all come out here, show your skills on training people. I know y'all know how to, <laughs> to be top, so... If you want to, yeah, and uh, applications you have a desire and passion to teach others too, I mean, please get an application. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing I'll, I will add to that is obviously we're not always going to be getting hammered with trainings that need to be done. Right. Um, so this isn't, FTD is really not a division where, I, I mean, unless you're looking to be in that command position because it's what you want to do. It's one of those things that you can keep to the side, and when you see a ticket open, take it. It's not something that you have to do every time you get on. Just having the ability to have like more than just a small amount of people available for trainings, it, it's a lot more helpful when you have, uh, say, 75% of your department with the ability to train and teach. It's helpful. I just want to uh, give you guys had, some... um, Oh, go ahead. So sorry. Keep going. No, you're good. We've had uh, 11 applications in the past two months. Okay. Two, uh, Out of those 11, how many were hired? I think there's only two that were uh, denied. That's pretty good. That's, those are pretty good stats. I don't really know there was only one, I'm not gonna lie. I heard there was only one. I'm pretty sure there was only one. Um, oh, there's one that wasn't... Uh, there's still one on pending right now. And That's I will read that. Yep. So we've had uh, we've had eleven, one uh, one denied, and then one um, still pending. And another thing, uh, me and Pedro, we will be going through the uh, the uh, roster. So we will be going through the roster this weekend, making sure we have all of our new FTOs, making sure that all of our ranks are updated. Uh, like if you're too high, you're just like training. Um, if one of the 
chief command members could uh, send me a screenshot of all of the people that have the field training role and that all the all that all the role stuff. It's kind of hard to go through all the members when we have 50% online, 50% that stay on do that serve. Some people are offline. Just go I through all that. that so hard. I appreciate it, Rebecca. You want you want everybody that has what now? Uh, let's do FTD trainee, FTD training officer, and FTD supervisor. Okay, I'll work on it. I appreciate it. Or am I doing anything else you want to add? Um, no, that's about it for me. Thank you guys, and you're right. Like admin and, and FTD, they're 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 sister divisions of each other. They um. They work cohesively, they work hand in hand because one is not only just getting somebody onboarded and brought in, and you're the face, both divisions, you're the face of this department. How you train, how you interact with somebody in their first ticket, you are the face of this department when you're communicating with new officers or transfers. So remember that. Remember the recruiting experience that you're giving somebody. Remember that experience that you had and that you want to pay that forward to somebody. We want somebody to feel welcome. We want somebody to, to really feel how we are a family here. Um, even if I have to tell you, don't fuck around and find out. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, field training. You guys are doing great. Um, so we're still in the... Um, interview process for finding our next criminal investigations uh, bureau commander. However, uh, Major Duke is going to come up next and he's going to speak about CIB. Can you hear me? You're... Okay. Uh, can we bring Captain Loud up here? Absolutely. Is Samuel here as well? through the... Samuel was... <laughs> had to deal something with his parents or something like okay. that. Okay, yeah, no problem. Is there anybody else in your team that you'd like to come up? Let's see, uh... Thompson and Banks. Okay. Thompson's the GIU lieutenant and Banks is the CIB lieutenant. All right, CIB, the floor is yours. So I'll start off, uh, as many of us know, we don't have a CIB commander right now. So me and Olsen have kind of been taking over that spot until we can fill it. But like, as of now, the health of CIB has drastically improved since the last CIB meeting. Trainings are actively being pushed out. We've had four new cases this month. Forensics right. is doing very well since it started. GIU has been operating well, actively pushing out trainings when needed. Uh, our roster, we have 35 active CIB detectives, 17 GIU detectives, and 16 active forensics detectives. Uh, I'll also be reaching out to Clap because me and him were kind of speaking about doing some multi-agent agency operations to further like improve the relation between our detective teams. Awesome. Uh, I know Captain Loud had something to say. Loud and proud, what you got to say? Alright, um... Captain Lunch? <laughs> I didn't really come prepared since I worked 8 to 4 and I literally came home and took a nap and literally woke up. That's okay, Forgot, just say what you gotta say. Eating. Um, I highly suggest uh, people that are not in CIB to, to apply to CIB because it's a very fun division because uh, you're working all over the place um, and a lot of people think that you just sit in RTO and do nothing until you actually get a CIB call but that's not like the case because you investigate robberies all that kind of stuff because we get that all the time and shootings and all that um, and bay cars are really fun a really fun operation I know GIU uh, is doing a I believe they're doing an op later tonight. They're doing a narcotics op tonight. Um, Ooh. Kind of going to watch over that on that. So people that are in GIU. Um, 
for CIB, when there's a CIB call, uh, like people that are not in CIB, like patrol officers, I'm getting with Commander Hamilton of how we can improve kind of like the security um, and for like outside of the sea. And scene, and scene preservation. Uh, per, uh, preservation. Yep. Awesome. All I have to say. CIB, you guys have anything else for us? Um, nothing like it. Yeah. One idea I had for CIB is, um, I would, I would like for some detectives or really anybody a part of CIB, it doesn't matter what division, to start doing, like, like, help desk and gun turn-in desk to where, like, you place an ad, they come here and win or get a certain amount of money for turning in the gun, no questions asked. Right, and later on, after we get all the guns or whatever people turned in, the CIB can go back and investigate those things that were turned in, you know, look for any cases that related to these things that they turned in. Okay. Dude, can you just make note of that and we can talk about it? Yeah. Of uh, what Banks said? Yeah. Um, CIB is um, still actively accepting applications for detectives. Um, for those of you who are already detectives, GIU is still accepting applications. Forensics is hiring, so... Um, Captain, like Captain like Loud has hit the ground running with something he's extremely passionate about. He is extremely detail oriented, um, and he has he has become somebody that you can learn a lot from in terms of like processing evidence and um, and forensic um, forensics. So, um, if that's something that you have a desire to do, please reach out to him as well. We have also lowered the uh, officer. So anybody's interested, it doesn't hurt to apply. Awesome. All right. Thank you, CIB. Appreciate you. Um, is there a, a representative here for SWAT today? I think Thompson had something to say. Oh, Thompson, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Jackson is here for uh, SWAT. Alright. Okay. Alright, so about the operation me and Samuel were planning earlier, I don't know if we still don't do it. It all depends if Samuel is here. What all we really need to do, all we need is games to be active. If they are, I'll let y'all know. And maybe we can that's why NCIB involved. That's all I have to say. Okay. Do you need SWAT on standby for tonight? Uh, it depends if we get anything. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thanks, guys. Who's here for SWAT? I think there is a single person. I just read that. Ah, Jackson, yeah. Hi, Jackson. Hello. Can you see me? Yes, sir. Okay, so, uh, SWAT's divisional report. So, our SOPs are up to date constantly reviewing them for any changes that may need to be uh, made in the near future. SWAT Command is also looking at uh, Striker SOP currently being evaluated uh, will be updated in the coming weeks or so. Uniform Catalog 
is up to date with all the new EUP numbers if anyone been, hasn't been in the state for a while. Uh, we've invited LSSD and SASP to uh, to one of our, to all of our trainings. Uh, we're hoping more joint trainings to be held <coughs> uh, for operations and, specific, and specifically, jeez, I cannot speak right now. Uh, and specific tasks. We have certification training guides uh, have been streamlined and worked off the main document, so things can be all centralized. Uh, and the swap pager, people have been noticed already, is uh, it's been streamlined to an in-game pager, but we still need after-action reports to be completed once the swap scenes are done. Oh, there you go, Estelle. That's really mm -hmm. all I got right now. Thank you. Yeah, I hope the job works out for you, my friend. Got. Yeah. Before we get us, uh, before we get that started, uh, after this meeting's concluded, I'll just go ahead and start working on the uniform guide. So that will be updated within probably the next 12, 24 hours. Only now do I realize you just said uh, cargo bang there, Estelle. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, go ahead, please. Oh, I know that this is uh, something. Um, I, I I know you guys are waiting on uh, the meeting to be over. That way we can get back into role play. Um, just trying to wait it out, let this go on, and uh, we'll get back over to the stream very soon. Okay. Within the server, so, we have a lot of stuff. Like just be patient with me. I, I know this it may like be the boring ads, part of the um, like and this has come from Legacy himself, which stream is tonight, but we'll I got to listen later. through with this. During the week, uh, there has been a patch that came, up, that came out. Just give it some time to get tested and stuff like that before, we kinda, before that kind of gets moved into EOTS because we don't want to put something that's broken in and have to try and fix all this on the fly and revert and all that stuff. So, on the EUP oh, side of things, gosh. server management and legacy and everybody, just give them. They're really trying to get that stuff in, but it's not them. It's them working along with by them and the updates that come out all the time. Uh, and stuff like that. So, we know, like, everybody knows that EUP is something that the whole server's waiting on, but relax it's coming we just got to figure these things out before that can happen that heck that's all. That's all. thank you um who's up next todd Hamilton. big ham <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> you get your do, ass up here, buddy. You want to do pods and stuff together since they kind of work hand in hand? Yeah, that's fine. Is Richter not here? Richter's uh, here. Richter is here. Let's bring yeah. two eight and do that together. That's fine. Where the hell is my phone? Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Hamilton, do you want to go first? Um, so, we're planning on changing some policies and stuff. Um, things like we want to redo just the other day, uh, 
last Sunday, Saturday, um, Sub Command had a meeting, um, and we want to change uh, the courses to be a little, a little bit more flexible. Um, we're gonna rewrite our SOP a little bit, um, and then we're gonna have a little bit stricter policies because we've noticed that there's been. Oh, it's in the fucking country. Um, Hang on. Uh, after we bring out this new SOP, we are going to be enforcing our policies a little more. Just because we've noticed we've kind of been a little flexible and there's been some things that have happened that have needed um, attention. Uh, we're just waiting on... Uh, I'm going to meet with Aaron uh, here soon in the next, next week about um, getting the policies up, approved. Um, same with activity. We're going to make the activity possibly a little bit stricter just because we've seen um, not a lot of activity in the, in the division. Um, so we're going to see it making the activity policies a little stricter to help with that. Um, some losses. We just noticed that not many people have been reading sub announcements, which means they're missing all the important things with our meetings and updates. Um, and we're, we don't have much supervisors. Uh, currently, I just checked this morning. Um, we <coughs> have 22 patrolmen, seven set supervisors, and two trainees. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it for seven. Awesome. Thank you, Richard. Yep. We can. Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Um... Just some quick stats on the patrol operations division. We have roughly 65 officers on payroll, 16 of those being supervisors split between Sergeant 1 and Sergeant 2s, 11 Officer 3s, 19 Officer 2s, and about 18 Officer 1s. Um, average, we're averaging about five to eight officers a night on patrol. More on the lower side, I'll be honest, only because we know school has just started back. Um, I am pleased to say that we're thriving on different other fronts, such as our growing officer count on night patrol, um, the success of our POD trainings lately, as well as other various events that we've hosted, including movie nights, pit and pursuit competitions, gun buyback, and some other um, exciting events we have planned for the future. I love how Todd is really reach doing a lot of like community engagement. Please don't stop that motive that like momentum. Um, the more that you guys interact with our community in a positive way, the less jank that they are to us when we're actually on patrol. For the most part, I'm not saying it's, I mean it's still GTA at the end of the day, right? Um, right. Yeah. But I, I love what you guys are doing. I know that I'm not always out there with you. Sometimes I get pulled to server staff operations and things like that. But um, I really love what Pod is doing. I love what all of our divisions are doing. Please don't take this the wrong way that I'm not proud of everybody. But you guys are the heart, right, of the streets. You are feet on the street. You guys are the beat. So um, keep that momentum going. Keep Sorry, getting engaged with our community. I love what y'all are doing. I love seeing it. And I know that I may not be on patrol with you all the time, but I see it. So just know. In my little magical ways. Yeah, thank you, Chief. Mm -hmm. Street, did you have something? Um, just a quick thing, not really anything much to touch on. Just want to say, Pod, all you guys are doing great out there on patrol. As Hamilton said, night patrols being incredibly successful lately. Um, just keep up the great work. We're going to find what school starting day patrols are going to be smaller. We try to, I try to, on my off days, um, give some time to the department in terms of, like, I was on all day and all night the other night. It's just a very long shift for 5M, just FYI. Um, but just trying to, to keep you guys engaged with some day shift, too. So just, I know some of you are in other time zones as well. If you're here tonight, and I know it's an oddball time for you, um, I appreciate that very much. Um, but... Just hang in there with us. I, I know that this shift with school starting gets to be a little off-putting um, for those of you that, that can only patrol during the day. Um, you always have the option to be a, patrol, uh, a public officer. 
um, in another county that does not need that you need to transfer out of this department. So um, we work really hard to find ways to keep you guys active, um, even sometimes if that means that we have to go be the bad guy for you. So um, that's all I have to say. Uh, Thank you, Street. Um, and Hamilton, if I could get you to stay up here for me. Um, so, the next portion of this meeting is something that I, don't, I feel that we don't do enough of. Um, it is, I think it's extremely important to make sure that we recognize uh, effort and we recognize um, talent and we recognize hard work. Um, a few months ago, or a couple months ago, we put an announcement that we have some prestigious awards that we have to give out. Oh. Um, I'll be the first to admit, as of your chief, um, we've fallen a little behind on that. Um, so we as a chief's team have agreed that we will keep on top of that. Right, chiefs? Correct. Um, but um, we, have a, we have a number of awards that... Um, I just got distracted by something. I apologize. Um, we have a number of awards that um, that we have in our department. Um, that was actually um, help. Uh, Mick Brown actually helped put this together with me. Um, mm -hmm. He actually does the design work for them, so you actually get like a really cool plaque, and it's posted in kind of like our own little um, channel, so you can go visit it, and you can actually download it and keep it for yourself. Um, Aww. Um, yeah, so this was back in April we, we moved this out. So um, we want to continue to recognize members of this department for your exceptional dedication um, and all of that aligned with your commitment to upholding values of being a Los Santos Police Department officer. So um, we used to have service um, we basically kind of reinvented our service star awards. Um, and so we have several awards. Um, one is a Medal of Valor, and I'm just going to kind of briefly ex explain what these mean. Uh, Medal of Valor is um, given, it's a very high honor. It's bestowed upon a law enforcement officer for acts of extraordinary bravery and courage in the line of duty. Um, it's awarded to officers who risk their lives above and beyond the call of duty to save others and prevent significant crimes. Um, we have Medals of Merit. Um, that's recognizing exceptional performance, dedication, and service beyond the call of duty. Um, it is an honor that is granted to officers who consistently exhibit outstanding professionalism, leadership, and integrity in their role. Um, and then we have other service stars, which are gold, silver, and bronze. Um, a gold service star is for long and um, meritorious service within the police force. Um, for those who have demonstrated exemplary performance, dedication, and professionalism over an extended period of time. Um, silver stars are for those, um, it recognizes officers who have exhibited, exhibited commendable performance and dedication throughout their career. Um, and a bronze star um, is recognizing officers who consistently perform their duties with distinction and contribute positively to the department's objectives. Um, we also have one other award. Um, it is the Chief's Honor Medal. It is a distinguished award that is exclusively bestowed upon by myself as your Chief. And it's reserved for individuals who have displayed acts of extreme courage, unwavering dedication, and extraordinary leadership in the face of great danger and adversity. Recipients of this award are those who are consistently demonstrating themselves as vital pillars of our department exhibiting extreme courage, outstanding dedication, and exemplary leadership, even in the most challenging circumstances. With that said, um, I have some awards that I'm giving out today. We as your chiefs are giving out today. Today, it is my honor to recognize Commander Leonard Hamilton. Today, Leonard Hamilton will be receiving the chief's honor. Um, Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I want to talk about this individual for just a moment. 
He has been a key member of our patrol operations division. He came to LSPD from a previous career in fire and EMS um, and has consistently demonstrated exceptional leadership, <laughs> exceptional leadership and commitment to the values of our department. Um, Commander Hamilton, you embody what it means to be a law enforcement officer in LSPD. Um, you answer the call of duty um, with unwavering resolve um, and more often than not going above and beyond what's required of you. Your proactive approach to policing, your ability to remain calm under pressure is what has made you an invaluable asset to our department and the community that you serve. Commander Hamilton, you set a very high standard for officers to follow. Your actions and your conduct, I use this word a lot, are exemplary, but I mean it when I say it. Um, you inspire me. Um, you inspire your colleagues. Um, you inspire them to strive for excellence, and I see that in every aspect of your work. You lead by example. Um, you show that dedication and integrity and professionalism, all these things that we preach to this department, that they really truly are the cornerstone for what we do here. It's officers like Commander Hamilton. Um, I, when I was talking about this earlier about how I love how you engage with our community, it's, it's officers like you that reinforce the trust that we have in our public. Um, your tireless efforts really ensure um, safety and well-being of our citizens, um, and it's not gone unnoticed. Um, I believe that you deserve this special recognition for your contribution to this department. So, myself and the chief team, we extend our sincerest appreciation to you for your remarkable service. Your dedication um, and your conduct are just a credit to the Los Angeles Police Department and we are all confident that you'll continue to serve with the same passion and integrity that have made you the outstanding officer that you are today. So thank you. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. And if most of you know me from when I was in fire, I had departments coming at me left and right. And it was like, I was, I was coming at you all the time. I was like, hell no, you are not hit me over there. <laughs> it's not happening. And I just, I have to thank everybody here because y'all helped me get as far as I am today. So it's really, it's really all thanks to, thanks to y'all. We love having you here, Big Um, We have some other awards that I'd like to give out today too. Um, I, I do tend to get a little emotional when it comes to this department because, um, you know, as much as I used to think that SAFR was, it was my first baby. But this is my biggest baby. This one has my heart and all of my heartstrings. Um, so I'm going to be recognizing um, several officers today. Um, we're going to be issuing to the following. Oh, the Medal fucking of right. For your. Yo. Outstanding professionalism, your leadership. No your way. Commander Anthony Soprano. Commander Adam Richter. And Major Charlie Duke. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to be giving gold service stars to Captain John Lynch, Captain Lou Sasso, Captain Quinn Samuel, Captain Jarvis Landrum, Captain Maya Romanoff. Fucking Lieutenant right. Pedro, Lieutenant Banks, Lieutenant Elliott, Lieutenant Jaquise, Lieutenant Reyes, Lieutenant Street, Lieutenant Young, Lieutenant Jackson, and Lieutenant Thompson. Um... You guys and your performance and how you're out there all the time, uh, I just, I love seeing how you guys all work together. So thank you. Um, Silver Service Stars have been awarded to Sergeant 2 Memphis Reigns. Um, as much as, as he thinks that he's just an asshole, I see you. Um, Officer 3 Smoke, Officer 2 Control, Officer 2 Chris Alonzo, Lieutenant Mendez, and Lieutenant Cheney. And bronze service stars whoops, are being awarded to Officer Teo, Sergeant Chrysler, and Sergeant Briscoe. Sergeant Briscoe, if you don't know, used to be a 
um, a commander here with LSPD and he got a, a different job and he had a new baby and so um, we love when we get to see him out on patrol. I don't, even, I don't know if he's in the room today, but um, I just wanted Unable to, to make that, it. Um, that we recognized him as well. Um, so uh, here in the near future, um, over the coming days, there is a channel that you'll be able to see where your awards are and um, it'll have your name and a little bit a little blurb about what that word award means and so you'll be able to save it so sweet thank you um and i'm so sorry that we took so long to recognize all of you now um we're going to open the floor for questions comments concerns grievances we're a family sometimes we may have to come to the table and have hard conversations but it's okay we're still going to walk away a family at the end of the day so if you'd like to come up and speak, um, feel free to do so. Lieutenant Loud, the floor is yours. All right, this will be less than 30 seconds. Um, Aaron can also speak on it too. Um, a lot of you guys have been on night shifts, so that's really much appreciated because then the civs actually come on down. Uh, night shift, like giving out like a little bit of money out. Um, if you want to talk about that, Aaron, or I don't know if you already did. Yeah, so, obviously, obviously, the the money is supposed to be an incentive for y'all to get on duty. We don't want y'all to, sorry, I don't want to have to put out an announcement for y'all to get on duty, but it is something that y'all can earn for being on duty. So once a week, I've started a, a paid night shift where everybody gets a bonus. Um, I'm trying to find a good spot for y'all to get paid. Right now, it's been influxing. I know one week I paid everybody 7500 each. Uh, one week I paid 12500 And one week I just paid ten flat. Once a week, we're going to be hosting paid uh night shifts and that just gives you know people the incentive to come down because we have all these officers and really allows y'all to get on duty where we have all of our officers so that we're not spread out on duty but you know throughout the day especially with everybody's schedules whether that be work school whatever you have so usually around 6 p.m afterwards we start night shifts so that y'all you know, have the ability to be on patrol with other officers and not just three or four in RTO throughout the throughout the day. Thank you, Aaron. Um, I got the last thing I'm gonna bring up is um, RPing better as a cop. Uh, so like, I know we held a ship briefing about that. Um, about like what emotes to do, what GMEs you can do, what slash me's you can do, and uh, like, do you have any weapons in the car? All that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the cheese team, open up a ticket, uh, and may have myself make a Google Doc of all the emotes that cops can do. I think that's great. Thank you so much, Lynch. Yeah, yep. open the ticket. We can put an announcement out. I'll let you right. leave with it. Sounds good. Thank you. Is there anybody else that would like to come up and speak? Yeah. Um. So you know me, I'm not the one, but I do have a grievance. Um, I've had a few officers come to me recently about SCSP flooding into LS and so what, taking- So it started with what, flooding into LS? A, like coming into LS more often okay. than what they usually have. In which, I, like me, everybody, we're, to we've, we're totally fine with it. We love it, love having them out there. It's more of the uh, more of the fact that they're they feel like their calls are getting taken from them in it. Uh, Ron, can you start taking some notes on this for me, please? Um, yeah, I've had a conversation with Hamilton on this, and I know exactly what he's talking about. Um, I'm gonna speak. 
a little out of turn about that. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, there has been some salt between two other agencies in the state. Um, and Oh, boy. We've always had an amazing relationship with San Andreas State Police. Um, we have openly invited them to make them feel like they are part of something bigger than themselves to come into five with us. Um, if that is creating a problem, we can counteract that with some boundaries. So I appreciate you bringing that up. Um, but I want to make sure that we do make them. ID. Like yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, we got that. I, I don't, I don't doubt that y'all aren't. I'm just saying like, part of that was to kind of ease some heartburn that they were feeling from some other issues that were stemming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah we if are. that if that helps to understand some of that. Doing all right, bud. It does. Yeah. It Doing does. good. A little tired, but holding in. But if they're taking calls, that's a different situation. Um, um, we want to make sure that um, that's not happening. So we, like I said, having such a great relationship um, with state that we do. Um, we can, we can come up with some boundaries. Yeah, they should only be here to assist y'all when y'all are needed, and like when calls are packed up and you need help, then they take the calls. We understand, but it. if you're already in need assistance, they should be there to assist. And right. run traffic on the interstates, the interstates, even though it's hours, you know, they can run traffic on the interstates. But as far as calls, that, that yeah, they should be. There I right. haven't gotten into dispatch just yet. Yeah, I've been in a meeting for the last normal. hour state agencies are around the world. Yeah. They're, they're there to assist. They're not really there to answer calls, so that's what mm. they should be doing. Like and said, like working, that's an easy working MBAs, things like that, that's that's things that troopers do. Yeah, Yeah, but if, if that's a problem, that's an easy conversation to have, but because we have such a great relationship with them, that's no problem. Right. I think I, I think the clarification has helped out a lot, which I'll give you That's no worries. Take sure your time. I know it's not a lot of people here, so even if we need to maybe just Type up real quick, and gotta be a 3.5 essay, but you know, and just put a little something out <laughs> so everybody else that's not here will know like what's behind it. Because it might be people that has that grievance that's not even here right now. You know, right. Uh, oh, excuse me. We can address that with the entire department. Whoops. Thank you, Hamilton. Was there anything else about that? I didn't mean to. I hope I didn't cut you off. Oh no, no, you're good. I actually know. Okay. <laughs> Officer Smoke. To, I guess, kind of elaborate on what Hamilton just said. I guess I, like, I expressed to him the grievances that I had about it because. There was one scene where we were, oh, I think we had three SWAT officers there, but we were all on the lower ranking side. And uh, we were all trying to get, I guess, ready to, I guess, you know, we were all trying to get on scene, trying to get ready, and SASP's SWAT team showed up without us requesting it. And they pretty much just kind of took over the scene, took scene comm, TAC comm, and push the building without any of us actually with them. So, I mean, like, like that's one scene that it happened, and then there's been a couple other times where SASP has just showed up and kind of, like, I think there was one where a guy was shooting somewhere, and there was, like, five of us on scene, and we were about to push it, and then SASP just kind of showed up and had, like, six guys there pushing it before we ever even got a chance. So, I mean, like, I know I expressed it to Hamilton that it was a little annoying that they're kind of just showing up without, like, their SWAT team, like, I, I love them. I've talked to all of them almost, and they're amazing, but it just kind of gets annoying when, like, we want to, like, if we're being needed as a SWAT team for Polito or if SASP would, were to need backup and wherever, you know, we would ask if they need us, not just kind of show up with them and be like, hey, you know, we're here. So I guess, like, that's kind of a problem that I had on that end. Okay. No, I appreciate that. And, and letting us know, like, what we don't know, we don't know, right? So we can't fix something that we don't know is happening. Uh, 
Uh, good Captain evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, everyone. So, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Captain Landrum, head of the IA division. Oh, boy. First of all, I want to say thank you to the Chiefs team for the gold service star. I know I have been extremely active in game lately just because of my situation, but once I'm able to get back in game, I'm going to be, I'm going to continue to give it my all just like I've been giving it through Discord. Which, a lot of you don't know, I've been doing a lot of work with IA and stuff in Discord from where I'm at because of no computer access. So I've tried to be active every day. And if anybody's got questions, you guys can feel free to DM me or ask me questions in, in the IA chat. I pretty much have a lot of time to answer questions right now. Pretty much all I gotta say. Alright, thank you, Lincoln. Keep you guys going with this. Alright, well if nobody has anything else, we're going to bring this meeting to a close. Um, again, um, I love this part. Um, but as we move forward, um, just remember our strength lies in our shared commitment to the mission here. Um, so every action that you take, every decision you make, um, it reflects on this department and impacts the community that we serve. Um, so let's just continue to strive for that excellence, that we support one another, um, that we uphold the values that define the Los Angeles Police Department family. Um, and finally, um, I want to remind you all to take care of yourselves and each other. Um, the job we do sometimes is demanding, but it is very rewarding. We're a family here, and family just takes care of each other. So. Thank you all for your service. Thank you for your time tonight. Y'all stay safe and keep making the city proud. Thank you, guys. I'll be adding uh, roles who got the medals, by the way. Appreciate that, Lyle. Yep. Hopefully, we'll see y'all on patrol in about an hour. <laughs> Actually, it's relatively late. Yeah. Still. Offer still up. All right, guys, y'all have a great night. All right, well, there's that. I know some of you guys are probably like, finally, holy gosh. Uh, sorry that it took Six, some... 10, 41, 10, 8, active 71 from sorry that it took some time to get out of that and such. I, I know that meetings like that aren't usually, like, uh, something to watch or listen to uh, you guys are here for like the action and stuff but um, yeah we're gonna be uh, rocking and rolling here uh, we're gonna be um you dick all right so yeah we are uh, in server at the moment we're gonna be um, rocking a patrol here for a little bit as as soon as uh more people come in we're gonna be uh going to dispatch so but other than that all right so, uh, let's see. What do we got going on? Uh, D, good to see you. Pleasure as always to have you here. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that award, like, at all. I was like, yo, what the crap? <laughs> that was, like, unexpected, but okay. Cool. Three not back in service. All right. All 
Uh, <laughs> forgot I hit that. Disregard I hit that. And that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Oh, goodness. First time coming in here, you know, brings me back over to December when we first met up with um, the chief and everybody else. It was like, this is a very interesting um, spot right here, so and we got these hotel rooms and everything, pretty fun stuff. Like, they got a fully functioning hotel over here. Like, what the hell? I was surprised to see about this hotel, to be perfectly honest. It was so... It's so beautiful. It is so freaking pretty. Ah, uh, So wonderful. Alright. Yeah, we're going to be dispatching here in a little while. Um, for the meantime, we are going to get on to patrol. I may have to let the dog out again to go potty. Let's... Other than that... How is everybody doing in the um, stream this evening? You guys doing all right? You guys holding in all right? I wish these could actually be like um, working. Then again, I've never seen a uh, elevator with side doors before. So that to me is kind of interesting to say the least. Oh goodness. Who's what and where? Just a few points away from it. That's no surprise. Am I surprised? Not really. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 
what else have we got going on? That is my question at the moment. Um, let's see. <clears throat> What's cracking up this way? Over in this side of town. I, You know what? Um, Actually... No, I want to double check something out. There were some interiors down along Forum Street. Forum Avenue. Is it Forum Avenue or Forum Street? I can't remember. It's one of those streets. Forum Drive, that's what it was. Yeah. Yo, that's an interior, if I've ever seen one. We all know Franklin's house. All right, let me see. Let me just pop this right up over here for a minute. Anything cool inside this uh, interior? Well, we got garbage kind of all over the place. The Brown Streak, Fight of the Plunger, Part 2. Enter the Clog Knots. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty bathroom. Welcome back to shift, sir. Sound sick today? Sound sick today? No, I'm just tired. So you show me 1041, I am a little exhausted. I, I had a long long weekend over at work um we were pretty slammed with uh orders coming in left and right like man our picks would not go down below a thousand what adam one you guys want to have a shift briefing or are we good just kidding we're done having meetings <laughs> i was hey, about what? to say i'm gonna sit there for another minute thank <laughs> the f that is over with they want permission hey. to speak in this channel I see in oh go ahead five david oh five um, State 1, Hi, we sweetie. have a pursuit headed into the Ellis jurisdiction coming up on the 7,000 postal Los Santos Freeway. Two-door sports car, black in color, red. Um, like Ooh, wait, let's white. go! Um, give us a fake name, ran from us for a normal 1011, was going felony speed. 5805, that is received. Did you get a plate lock on that vehicle? Um, I will shoot you an email with the plate lock as soon as I get it. I'm just trans, um, just the messenger at this moment. Receive. County 1 and 3 out of 9, can I get you guys to respond? Hey, fam, we're already responding with 97, just coming on 2, I'm sure we can help. Go box. Last scene was heading into Los Santos. We have lost eyes, though. Black in color, two-door sports car with red, um, LED lights around it. Receive. 3 9 on the lookout. Or we could just interrupt me. 3 9. You could show me uh, in route over to the area searching. It was also a gray in color, another car, muscle car, gray in color, two door sports car as well. Sorry, so there were two. <laughs> 3 9 receive. Received. So there we will be operating out of RTO 9 if found, okay? Simple. Yeah. Nah. Bru 
Everybody has different opinions about Brooks. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand where you're coming from there, Nas. But I mean, Brooks is all right. There are days where it's like eh, here or there, but I mean, uh, Brooks is a very good person. Brooks means well. Doing the best that she can, man. Brooks is cool. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I gotta let the dog out shortly. You see my 911? Wait. Hold on. What 911? Call history. Wait a minute. 114, should be 1041 today, so no one for LSPD. There's no 911. The only recent one right over here was the asshole neighbors at the dealership are bailing Barbie girl. Hmm. Guess which one it is. I thought I saw like a fire. Like description over at 7338. That's why I was like looking over around. I'm like, there's no fire out here. Oh my god. Had two decent streams today. There you go. Three hours, 22 minutes total. One stream was one hour, 11. The other was two hours and 11. Both had three and a half hours views. There you go, man. Oh my gosh. You were playing Barbie Girl at 10,000 volume. Oh my god. Why would you do that at 10,000 vo volume? Just bleh. Why? Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> How you doing, Rex? Good to see you, man. Oh my lord. This call right up here is what he's talking about. Do you need to go out? Yeah. Okay, let me park my car and we'll go out, okay? What? Yeah, I know. Guess who's watching over you tomorrow? Yeah. Uh Oh, whatever. There we go. Get on out of here, bitch. <laughs> All right. 
don't bug out, don't bug out, don't bug out. All right. 3-9, you can show me 10-6 for just a few moments. All right, cool. Uh, beans. Um, what tab am I on? This one right here. Okay, cool. So I will be right back, guys. We've got some more uh, Lou coming your way momentarily. Um, if you guys like what you see, feel free to share it out. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, the whole night, you know, social media. Yes, I know. I'm trying to hurry this along. Hold on, sweetheart. Hold on. Oh my god. Can, can we get rid of that, please? Brooke, are you still in the uh, chat room? One out of one, that's gonna be code four. There's no fire here. All right. Excuse me. All right. I'm gonna let the dog out. I will be right back. Stay tuned. We got some more Lou coming in way.
Listen, come in 1041 tonight. Active swap for LSTD. Three back tonight. Initiated traffic stop 8050 Strawberry Ave with the vehicle unregistered. Two door black and color Challenger. Can I get a 32 headed my way? No code. Southbound 8056 Elgin Ave. And left into oncoming lanes to 8171. He's getting out of the vehicle and getting into a different vehicle. I've got the vehicle here. 1 4. This is the individual we chased yesterday after about four attempts of chasing him. I'm going to go ahead and break off. Probably call Fed. Back tonight. All right, we're back. One three back tonight. Five David three hundred jealous. Go ahead. Be advised, we have a semi truck that is fleeting on the highway, possibly trying to evade police in Hi, the US. So fair warning. Hello, Mitchy. Be chasing a semi truck. How are you, dude? Yeah. How are you, my dude? 10-4, I believe they currently have them stopped, but I'm not in radio channel, so I'll check back with you guys if we get them. Playing card, nice, nice. Bob David 300, we currently have the semi truck stopped on the freeway. Just be advised if they start running from us, they're going to be heading. Oh, I know what you're talking about there, D. Route 13 into the city. What's your postal number? They're right at 7357. I'm almost home. You got about three or four LSP. Get in the area. All those PD units drop down code. 10-4, you guys are good to drop down to code code one and stay in the area. Oh, 
Vanguard. 7357 is a checkpoint. I don't know what their location is. By the way, you guys can go ahead and just drop down to be in the area and watch out on the edge of the freeway. Is he going to be headed southbound? Five, five, David, what is your exact location so we can set up in case he does take off? Five David 300, the 20 of the traffic stop that they currently are on is... I got eyes, uh, they're 4,002, 4,002, I got eyes. They're gonna be heading down towards the city if they do end up running, so just be careful about that. Five, show me 1041 tonight, activate the standby swap for LSPD. Oh, hell no, don't be coming up in my radio like that. Anyone temporarily going 10-6? 10 10-5, can I have the drugs that you're on? Alright. to command. Are we in need of five, a uh, five, air five. unit? 1-5, priority traffic, shots fired. 7-3, same traffic. 3 same traffic. Ah, screw it. We got a suspect stop thirty sixty one. Uh, shots fired. Suspect down. Let's get into this best mode. All right, let's freaking go. Four three, how many responding codes do you have a latest on all one? Eight five, show me same traffic. Been through that. Been through that. Let me get things set up. Ooh, wee. That camera's out of focus. Hang on a second. One four, me ten eleven eight zero four zero Strawberry Ave at the Pillbox Medical Center. Can I get a thirty two heading my way? It's gonna be an armored EOD type vehicle. Thirty two, 
Alright. Well, can it be a postal? Yeah, box. 40. Jolly Ranchers are starting to get melty. Ew. That's nasty. Central dispatch to all units as of 1018 Eastern Standard Time. All calls can be routed over to Central Dispatch as this time. Let the games begin. Hi, sweetie. not even our jurisdiction that call that just came through. Ah. What you do, baby girl? Do some dispatch for a couple hours. Serious mode activated. <laughs> not with this papa around me. <laughs> Not with this dog around. I'll tell you what. Way far back on the camera there. Holy shit. Six three back to eight. Six three M showing you back ten eight as of twenty twenty one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Central dispatcher, all units be advised. You can disregard the call over at 8040. I'm noticing Hamilton and Smoke are rocking and rolling as a unit at the moment. So I'm going to merge them.
one three back to Nathan. One three ten eight as of twenty twenty two. Twenty two twenty two. To add them to 10, 8, 22, 22. Yeah, no form dispatch, 10, 8, 10, 41. Hey, Adam, four showing you 10, 41, 10, 8 as of 22, 23. Central Dispatch, go for state. Go ahead, state one. We have a pursuit heading into LS. Last known vessel was 9390. Um, with a four door black vehicle shot at cop. One suspect is down right now. Um, we do have Air One in the air. Is there a way you can get Air One in our RTO, please? Can. Uh... Central Dispatch, Air One. Uh, are you receiving the frequency? Air one, stand by. We're to change our show name. One four break. We just had major automatic shots. Eighty fifty area, Legion Square. Unknown individual who shot. We'll be looking out. One out of five to save one. One five uh, state one has left frequency. Five to uh, count the central. I'm gonna be on 99, 90, 38 going northbound, trying to catch up with this pursuit on the highway. Received. Air one, central dispatch. Air one, central. Go ahead. Air one, you can show us 10 a in the sky. Received. That Show me 10 a on air patrol. Right. Yeah, for dispatch. Well, let's turn this down just a bit. Eight four. Got to be in the area of that, uh, or close to that area of that 1080. Is there any additional units right. towards that area? Let's start some more LSPD units. 9241. That state's gonna be in a 1070. Central Air One, are you able to head over that way or are you still searching for the active 1080? No, uh, it's a 1070 now. Air One will be 97, 30 seconds now. Air One, go ahead and cancel the response. State's got their helicopter up over here. I'm sure what's breaking off the area. 21 Central. 15 Central. County one, go ahead. And Bobby ninety seven to that from the suit. Receive one five. One five. Can you start me at least three or four LSPD or LSSD units? Six three central. Six three hold. Um three atom three. What atom one? And 8 Adam 4, are you able to respond code 2 to 1 Adam 5's location? What was your postal there, 1 Adam 5? One Adam 1, receive central, show me 23 at 9241. Copy that, 9241. 8 Adam 4, are you able to respond code 2 to 8041? 3 m 3 same traffic. 10 for 8 out of 423. Received. Three. 5 David 59, one moment. 3 m 3 I'm showing you 97 in route. 5 David 59, go ahead with your traffic. You see, sir, showing you active 10 a as of 2227. 
Central 1-1, one, one. he just left frequency for the moment. Ay, ay, ay. Central, give me units in that, in that tunnel now. Units responding, uh, co 3 into the tunnels. <laughs> Which tunnels? Uh, be advised, uh, shots being reported at 8216. One moment. Ay, ay, ay. Where are you? Where are you? One out of five, you're on scene at, for that pursuit with the state units at 9060. Can I go ahead and have you 10 one at channel 9? Four four. Show me back to Nitko Zero. Received. All right. So this is the active pursuit that's going on right now over here. Air one, go ahead. Shot fired at eighty two sixteen from the alpha and code one. Received. Showing you back ten eight as of twenty two twenty nine. This dispatch for a little while. Eight five central. Eight five. You can show me ten six vehicle repairs. Receive showing you ten six as of twenty two thirty. Oh my friend. 6-3 back in channel. Where the hell is this fire? There's like a fire emu. Oh, way over there. That's no surprise. Go figure, it's freaking uh, Blaine County. E5. Oh shit. 8 5, go ahead. You show me back 10 8. 8 5 back 10 8 as of 2231. 1 4 Central, you can show me back in our key on back in there. Receive, sir. 2 2 Central. 2 2. Receive, good sir. Central, all units be advised. Double check your CAD settings. Make sure they are 10 8 unless you are on priority call. County 1. County 1. Thank you, sir. 6 3 Central. 6 3. We'll be back tonight this time. 10-4. 1-5. Showing 
10 4 showing you 10 6 at this time. Once you get to see a vehicle, double check CAD status. 3 3. Central. three, three. Back 10 8 at this time. 10 4 showing you 10 8 at the, uh, 2233. Good, sir. Thank you. Yeah, 4 Central. 8 4. Gonna be 10 6 5 mics for vehicle repair. Received. Let's see. Need to be able to see their, um, need to be able to see their call signs over here for a minute. That's why I have this over here. Oh, goodness gracious. No. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, thank God I am doing this tonight. I am exhausted, guys. I am just like. For dispatch, I'm gonna be needing to reroute. I'll be 107 for about five max. Five a one, one atom one or one atom five. Still for one. Hey, for ma'am, we're doing our final send off for 5 David 10, Major McLean at A020 at State Police Headquarters. I extend an invite to all of your officers along with command so that we can do this in the most prosperous way ever. I'll copy. Show me 97. One out of five to all LSPD units. Go ahead and clear yourselves and get in class A's, please. Central Dispatch be advised, I will be en route. Central Dispatch is now 10 7 as of 22 35. Self Dispatch will be needed. Alright, I guess that's happening. 3 9 back in service. Oh, I guess that's happening. Let's see what the hell's going on up here. Yeah, want a bear cat? Bear cat. Me? And let's, no. let's go ah. Move. Hey. It 
Jesus gracious. When I stream, I don't get a single view. Um, Drake, how long have you been streaming for? Let me ask you that, buddy. Mm -hmm. oh. Gonna grab it. Somebody put the lights on on this bitch. That's not possible. That is not possible. Hey, 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 this is gonna be our final picture. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. By day one, LSPD, we're going to be meeting at the front of the building. I said again, the front of the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't bug. Oh, no. You're on. No, 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 no. Hey, Walker. Howdy, howdy. Aw, oh, you gotta be shitting me. It's still bugging out. Oh, yeah. oh come on. Come on. Son of a bitch. Probably because there's so many people around. Alright. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, don't fucking brick. Come on. Don't fucking do this to me. Please. 